um, between America and Brazil, I'm telling about um, New York. Here, the life is really busy. They they run. Um, I I I thought it was really strange. All this, you guys have a lot of drive through here, and you we don't you don't have time to stop and eat your food. You go and drive through and driving while you eating, and it's really busy the life here. My life in Brazil was uh, more easy going. Uh, something different that I thought that I think it's uh, the dinner time in Brazil. I don't I don't think it's the this is a the whole country like this. But in my house, we usually to have the lunch time together, not the dinner time. So we sit down at the lunch and dinner time. Uh, each one go do your stuff. Usually my mom is working at dinner time. I'm I'm going to college, so we can't. We don't have the dishwasher. We don't have the dryer. Yeah, all this stuff. The the fireplace. Uh, there is something that I noticed really different between Brazil and the United States. Um, the kids here, they are really uh, like a teenager. My two girls. One is nine. One is nine, and the other one is ten. But we go to the mall and we hang out like like they are my age. We go and and uh, try clothes on and go makeup and you know they don't used to go to play outside and ball and bicycle and everything. They used to go in their iPads and go and movies and videos on YouTube and Instagram and. So, yeah, in Brazil, it's we're starting to be like that too, but it's not that early. I mean, I don't feel like they are really young, these girls. So I think that was a, a different difference between us. And the way they talk to you, it means like they're not kids. It, it looks like they, I don't know, they're really... <laughs> They don't usually. They don't usually. I mean, when I was nine and ten, I was playing outside of the house with the ball and running and everything. They don't usually do this here. They they used to hang out in the movies and go to the mall and you know this is a teenager stuff. Oh, I think they should know Brazilians are really. Um, I don't know how to say. I I think the word is lovely. Uh, we like to hug, we like to kiss, we like to hold and, you know, the kids. And sometimes the host parents, they get jealous or or they don't like when we do this. My family is totally okay. And I, I, used, I, I tell them before, I say, because I had these other friends that they were au pair. And one of them, they told me the host mom didn't like it when she was too sticky with the kids. We are, we are like that. We don't, actually we are like that with everybody. So she told me to be careful and to tell them uh, if if you if I can't do it it's okay but I'm usually like that I like to kiss and and you know and I told her to say no it's totally okay I mean like you it's how you show your love with my kids so it's totally okay um, I was wor the most thing that I was worried was about the food because <laughs> uh, in Brazil we used to have a lot of it's almost like Mexican we we like a lot of rice and beans and um, all this heavy food we eat a lot we have big meals breakfast and lunch and dinner and you guys here will have a big breakfast but the lunch is it's not that much and and then a good a good dinner I was worried about the food I thought. I would just eat pizza and hamburgers and that, that I was worried. But, and I was looking for what you guys usually eat for this and for that. I asked my friends and they said, Carol, don't worry because they have everything there. So, and that's true. Whatever, whenever you go, you can find Brazilian uh, supermarkets here. And, uh, you know, and it doesn't, especially... Um, uh, South Africa, South America food, like Mexican food, and you have, especially in New York, you have all kinds of restaurants. So you, I was worried about the food, but I, I, I feel silly now because you have all kinds of options and, but everything is really easy going. I mean, I was, I wasn't worried about because when I came here, I was with my open mind. I, I, I wanted to observe all different things. When you come here, you can't think on keeping you can think about it keeping the way your way of life in your country because you will be different 
So you have to be open-minded and try to observe all different things. Don't close yourself. You can do this. Otherwise, you're going to be a, a hard time here. Because you're not in your country. You can't have the same food. You can't have the same weather. You can't have the same way of life, the same schedule. You can't have. I mean, you have to be open-minded. That's what I... I that's my... Um, uh, how can I say? My advice for the... Yeah. Be open-minded. 